everybody! Welcome back. Don't look at me like that, cat. I have a tendency to record videos. You don't want to be in this room? You don't want to be in this room. We're randoming. It looks like it's gonna be maybe Maggie? Judas. I'm always off by two, but I still won the grand prize. That's right, a first class one-way ticket to Albuquerque 3 TVT HJK8. No comments. Um... Okay, well, you know the deal. Look for an early spear at heart, don't get hit by champions. Uh, on a room with any level of questionability, you pop that Book of Belial and you pop it immediately, you know? You see Mullabooms, you pop it. You see uh, Isla Zeus guys, you pop it. I was really hoping that would be uh, Degas, but honestly, Hagalaz is, is pretty good in its own right. Um, we're gonna wait to pop it until... Well, probably the smart move is to wait to pop it until the situation crystallizes a little bit more. Like right now, you might say, hey, good chance, you know, lots of money from pots, maybe a black market or something, but I'd rather use it for one tinted rock than an attempt at like some money, especially when we have no keys right now. So I think we save it for a potential tinted rock or until we have a key so that the money that we get is more uh, readily available to be used on our shop. I almost wanted to use it on this room just to generate a little bit more space. You know, with Judas, we can't be worried about the, you know, the fine-grained stuff. We gotta be concerned pretty much exclusively with how we're gonna give ourselves the opportunity to win here. Okay, dead end. We haven't been here, though, right? No, this is new. No tinted rocks, and believe you me, I'm looking. I'm looking, and I'm a not liking right now. Ah, a key! Okay, now we go until we find our shop. Just want to see is this the shop no um, and then once we find the shop I'm okay with using Hagalaz on the room full of pots this is it okay well maybe we'll get the ability to fly and then we'll want to use Hagalaz on this room that's book of book of freaking secrets it's horrible all right let's see if my if my master plan works out accordingly here so the dream is get at least two cents out of these pots which I think should be really easy and then um, well, one send out of these pots. It's actually not any easier, I think, because the minimum they can pay out with this too, but still, it's an extra penny. Um, oh, we actually got the quarter and 15 cents at least. So that's 15, 17, plus 25, 42, 44 cents on this. 45 cents. No, 44 because we got the extra penny earlier. Uh, that's, that's really good. Now we just hope for there to be a spirit heart on the shop. Um, of course... A good item would also be a nice uh, touch for us. 48 cents early. Um, there's no spirit heart. We got a wheel of fortune. We'll buy a key. We'll buy a bomb. And we'll even test the pill. Okay, that's not bad. Um, we could take broken stopwatch, but I worry about it um, backfiring on us a little bit. So now, um, it's, it's alright. We, we got a plan B. Still looking for a tinted rock. If no tinted rock shows up, then um, we're going to find our boss. Play it cool here. Is the boss room adjacent? Yes. So I won't use Book of Bilal here. Um, we are going to... I was going to say look for a second secret room, but honestly, like that's not that likely here. So I think we pop Wheel of Fortune. And we were hoping that it would be a uh, fortune teller, but it's not. So <laughs> out, number, uh, out number five has now fallen by the wayside. That's okay. We're still rolling here. We're hoping that maybe they just pay out with the Spirit Heart here. That's pretty unlikely. I'm willing to play this until 5 cents anyway. Uh, sorry, uh, 20 cents anyway. I want an item in 5 cents available for the next floor. If we get the dollar, hey man, we get the dollar. Then you can bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there will be sun. The scum will come out tomorrow. That's a fucking eternal heart, buddy. Okay, well, it's a start. Blow it up. Got a pill. The pill is. I can see forever. There's a second secret room. Contains poop. That's not even what I wanted, man. I think we have to take this. I don't even know if it gives us an extra hit of survivability. I think you take it anyway just in case it somehow keeps you alive. Yes, we may end up losing it, but if we lose it as a shield or something, then I'm completely okay with that. Okay, looks like we're going to be fine. So we're going to have two HP for the next floor. And no... Well, there can't be bad trip yet. Friends till the end. Paralysis, no speed downs. Full health. 
range down. Not that bad. Not that bad. Okay, we have an arcade, which is just kind of hilarious. Um, no fortune teller inside of that either. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> no deal with the devil for Ryan, I guess. Okay. And then we get a spirit heart we come in here. So the right play was actually to play the blood bank until you could come in here and then get a spirit heart. That hurts. That hurts me deep to my, to the very bowels of my soul. Okay, all this being said, you still have a mission. This mission is to not die. You could still get a deal with the devil. If you die, oh, you ain't coming back, man. And your streak's gonna be dead. So you should uh, just be smart about it. Okay, I know I said mullabooms, we use uh, Book of Belial. Not necessary. Could have, could probably should have used it right there, actually, in hindsight. Um, okay, we're looking for a shop and an item room. The shop is gonna contain black candles so we can actually see our HP and feel confident. Uh, the item room is gonna contain proptosis. Because I could use it. I don't expect these prophecies to come true. If they do, it would actually be more trouble for me than it's worth, probably. Because people would be like, wow, preloaded the seed, huh? I see how it is, even though that, you know, when I think about it, that doesn't make sense. But that's not gonna stop me from throwing accusations out there. Halo! Ah, there's your master plan, huh? And now you're gonna make people think it's gonna be proptosis, and then when it's something good that's not proptosis, but it's still amazing, you're gonna act like, uh... You did it right, huh? Well, uh, this doesn't really make any sense. Um, yeah, so we'll take Hive Mind just in case the Guppy Dream manages to come to fruition. Halo's good. Uh, it's not game winning by itself, but it's really nice just to have the peace of mind, honestly. Bomb? Just tinted rocket. Oh, okay, never mind. It's not important. Okay, Pin. Well, we've already fought him on this floor, and we know that he's going to go down very easily. This will be a great time for me to get a deal with the devil that I don't necessarily deserve. Yeah! Okay, so we've got um, three red hearts, and, well, we can definitely go hard on that then. Uh, we'll, we'll take both. And then we'll play this once, and that'll put us in the Horror of Babylon state. Okay, nicely done. Nicely done. Uh, we should check our cursor, and we have so much HP now. Um, this is a disgustingly overpowered run now, as often happens on the second floor, uh, apparently in our runs, at least recently. Not that I'm complaining. Took 404 kind of just for shits and giggles here. Puberty, and an actual bomb. I'm into it, because then we can take our bomb, blow up this tinted rock, hopefully get small rock, because I could, well, I'd always love the damage. We, got, we had Lucky Rock on that room, too? That's so lucky. It's so lucky it's a star, but it cries, cries, cries for its lonely heart, thinking, if there's nothing missing from my life, then why do these tears come at night? Britney Spears, uh, 2003. 2000, 2000, maybe. I think it was from Hit Me Baby one more time. Not the song, the album, of course. Okay. I took Nightlight just because, you know, we can. PhD is actually going to ruin the Horror of Babylon state, but I think it's probably worth it. Um, to be able to guarantee us good pills for the rest of the run, and hopefully we'll just be able to get rid of the uh, the extra HP on a deal with the devil or something, or temporarily on a um, on an arcade, if you would indulge me. The sun and judgment, pop judgment. Can't even blow them up, but we'll, we'll pop them anyway. Um, we should use the sun card on this floor. Hear me out. Tears up. Hell yeah. Um, we don't want to use it when we're at half a heart, because it'll fudge up our uh, Horror of Babylon action. So I think you use it on a room like that, figure out where you're going. We know we're not going to the shop on this floor in all likelihood. So let's just keep pressing this way. Whoa! <laughs> let's keep pressing this way. Um... We could use Book of Belial on this room, but it's a little too late. We can actually use it on this room, and this room is worth it. Being able to one-shot these spiders is going to be real meaningful. Come back here and pick this up. Now, this is where we want to deal with the devil that is like Abaddon. You want to get in that horror Babylon state and also get a ton of survivability. 
Headless Horseman is honestly kind of tempting. I think I might actually benefit from having the ability to fly, but you have to admit that taking Headless, or taking the Pony, I should say, over taking uh, Book of Belial, kind of the pussy's way out, isn't it? Book of Belial is like, oh, I'm a big old tough guy, and then uh, the Pony is like, hey, don't take damage. I mean, it's not really fair that I'm giving them that voice. Like, I'm, I'm basically putting my value judgment on them. That's not okay. What do you think about an AWAS rune? Here's what I think about an AWAS rune, because that's probably more important since I'm actually doing the run right now. Um, we are going to try to use this AWAS rune to get out of a room. Maybe we use it to get out of this mob trap room. Boss trap is usually, you know, the bee's knees when it comes to teleporting, but it's possible that this room just looks like shit. I don't even know. I don't even know, honestly, if that looks uh, worth going to. Just stone chests? I mean, I guess I could use the money, but... If, if they even have money. They could just have a bunch of red hearts I can't even take advantage of in them. Alrighty. I mean, when we get enemies, like, locked in our, uh, locked in our headlights here, it works out really nicely for me. I never even thought about this as well. Like, enemies are chasing me down. You just, like, Luigi's Mansion some of them to, to do some crowd control. That's kind of fun. I mean, I, I've always kind of thought that uh, Nightlight was an okay item. I've never really, uh, you know, gone over the top thinking it's... it's. Oh, I really thought I could slow that down. Um, thinking that it was, like, truly amazing or anything like that, but it's, it's okay. We will go back there. For a second, I looked at that room and thought that it was actually, like, a gap that I couldn't get over. Did you see that? Like, that, that thing in the middle looks like a, a crevasse. A Hugo Boss crevasse. Hugo Boss's crevasse. Okay. This is getting a little dangerous. Please drop money when you die, and not my money. Alrighty. Why do I find myself so scared? I think it's justifiable. I'd really like to pick up some HP. Be cool. We took a lot of dumb damage on this floor. But it's all for naught if we just manage to get HP or an awesome deal with the devil right here. And our deal with the devil chance should actually be really, really good. Okay, so this is a really good uh, nightlight usage as well. We get screw. And then we get a deal with the devil that's just bombs and spiders. And a couple of pills. I can see forever is fine, worth backtracking, and balls of steel. So I apologize for kind of taking the piss out of the game for a second there because the the choices that they made there or that, that were made for me gave me a much better chance at survival. So let's find our second secret room. Wow, it's, it's way off in like no man's land here. And it sucks. We still need to get our item room anyway. You know what? I think rather than prioritizing boss rush, we should... Try to get something out of that mob trap room at the very least. So, this is probably... Yeah, there's a secret room here. Um, which has 99 bombs, and we can get to it. That's a really good start. Especially if we can get uh, more than 99 bombs. Or, sorry, 99 bombs with some extra power on them. Um, but let's start with the obvious way out here. Getting to our item room, and then uh, I think we're just gonna AWAS. I mean, it could give us black market, could give us crawl space, both of which I could be good for us. I mean, there's a lot of couldas, but still, there's potentially great outcomes there. Black bean is at best all right. Um, we should destroy every mushroom that we come across now with 99 bombs as well. Range up is okay. Uh, any big mushrooms in this room? Doesn't appear so. Okay, so I think he cracked these. Get whatever they're gonna give you. What's this one? It's a health upgrade. Okay. Then we just AWAS out. Take it down to the next floor. I'm not gonna bother to fight those guys for another stone chest. We got an HP upgrade. That's good. We need to find another way out of boss trap, but uh, maybe boss trap isn't what we should be worried about. Maybe should we, we should be worried about the true challenge that lies within all of us. Temperance. Okay, so that's, um, that's a way into... Poor Babylon. Also a way into this curse room without having to lose half a spirit heart. And then we get Guppy's head, which I am going to roll over Book of Belial. 
Because I think that um, I'd rather have the consistent damage from the flies than the... Well, it's because of me. I never use Book of Belial properly. It's the letters B-O-B, -B, man. Uh, if I ever go to a barbecue that's B-Y-O-B, I'm like, why? Why would I go to that? <laughs> no, seriously, it's, you know, I'm, I don't mind bringing my own beer to a barbecue. If you want me to bring my own barbecue, that's ridiculous, you know? I can't take that shit on the bus, but... Um, that's, that's proper etiquette to bring your own beer to the barbecue, I think. In today's economy, at least. Okay, don't pick up that half red heart. Don't pick up that full red heart, either. Jesus, that's actually substantially worse. Well, not substantially. Not since we have temperance, but still. Mmm, bad damage. Ooh, Barracuda. Thanks to everyone who suggested all the options for um, how we could say Sokolova's name in uh, in XCOM 2. I'm doing a Sokolova, which is uh, good loving by the rascals. But uh, some some noteworthy suggestions. Mmm, Sokolova. Dun 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 dun. Um, also, oh, that was bad. I forget there was one more Sokolova one. Some I think people said just sing Doctor Feelgood instead. We could. I mean, we suppose we could do that. Not a guppy item. Oh, pretty much hate this room. This would be a good time to, for flies to just go ape shit. Retrovision. I I dispute that this is a good pill, Tyrone. Bad damage again. I find myself very scared, even though maybe I shouldn't be. We're probably fine on HP, that is, for survival purposes exclusively, but I, I, I would rather know for sure, man. The chariot. That's huge. Hmm. Okay. Again, the item room just, like, betrays us until the very end of the floor. Lots of keys. Oh, we got an HP we couldn't avoid. Oh, okay. Let's chariot this dude's ass. Get synth oil. Synth oil's great. Guppy's tail. Gotta get it. A Thame. Gotta get it. Now we're in the Horror of Babylon state. How much HP do we have? I don't know. I'm a little frightened. Uh, I'll tell you what. I think we... No, you have to go to the item room. You have to go to the item room. Yeah, let's take it even though it ruins Horror of Babylon. You gotta go to the item room. Can't skip the item room. Um, even though we're one guppy item away and I'm scared that we're gonna die in the process here. You gotta do this. I don't know if that deal with the devil was the right decision in hindsight. You know what was the right decision? Taking hive mind. That ended up... Ooh, that ended up being very good for us. Uh, I guess I had the cursed skull as my trinket effect there. I think we may buy blank card. And we have blank... Oh, you know, at the very least, we can have blank card magician. Which is not good. Not nearly as good as Guppy's head. But we have so many opportunities to get more cards here. Because of the bombs we have. So sure, I think you take blank card. Let's let's get weird. And then Gimpy is also really good. Okay. Well, we're right on schedule for boss rush potentially. Uh, I like our damage. I like it a whole heck of a lot. I do worry that uh, our HP is worse than I think it is. But I could be mistaken there. Let's get the heck down to the next floor. We got at least one red heart, half a spirit heart. I know that much for sure. We had two and a half spirit hearts, which is actually, like, completely fine. Um, okay, weird. I would like to get back in the Horror of Babylon state, please. I also really wanted this to be uh, an arcade, like a real arcade. So that we could go uh, Temperance, possibly get uh, Gimpy payouts, but also put ourselves back in the Horror of Babylon state. Um, sure, we, I mean, we might as well be using this once every four rooms. Basically, right now, we have, like, a Telepathy for Dummies. A shitty version of Telepathy for Dummies. I think we also have Petrified Poop on this room. Hard to tell. Maybe not. We just got lucky a couple times. Okay, good cards. Good. I know we have PH. Oh, good runes. Even better. Good runes. Algus. Yeah, once every four rooms being basically invincible is really good. Uh, another luck upgrade, too. Throw some bombs down here. 
We have 94 of them. Look, I would love some homing, you know, sticky hot bombs, but um, in, in all likelihood, this is not going to happen. A Thames doing good work for us. We could actually use that uh, to our advantage here. You know, just start running into enemies nonstop. Once every two waves, we could have invincibility for boss rush. Is that that worthwhile? I would say no. I'd still rather just teleport out, but Blankard Algiz is good enough that maybe we just either do boss rush or skip it entirely. I don't think we're going to be able to do the, the teleporter and keep our, you know, Algiz beauty here. I don't think so, anyway. Um, no? <laughs> I took, uh... I took Cursed Eye pretty recently, so I don't, uh, like, literally on the last run, right? So I don't, uh, I don't feel necessarily 100% obligated to take it here. That was a huge whiff. I mean, if they want to give me a room that's worth using Algiz on, I will use Algiz on it. But, uh, as of right now, they haven't really given me that opportunity. Oh, the secret rooms have been just glorious so far, as you, as you can tell. Um, we should go to our shop. Various reasons. One being we have the money. Two being we could donate. Um, let's not forget. Could also get a card in there. Pills are good. Might as well take... There's options. We got blank card justice. justice. Got balls of steel. I guess we'll donate one cent. That's exactly what I was going to say. How did you know? We'll buy a battery charge. And just look for, like, the be-all, end-all of cards or, uh, or runes. Sure. Okay, uh, let's go fight Mom, I guess. Ooh, almost walked on that. Might as well take the money. Okay, let's do it. Red Mom, um, do you use Algus here? You, you must. Because I really don't see us doing Boss Rush. Not that our damage is bad, it's just not good enough to be like, yeah, let's do Boss Rush, you know, on a whim for fun. And this run's not as overpowered as it looked like it was going to be early on. Certainly not bad. Far outside of the bad camp. But, uh... And above average. Definitely above average. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to sound, like, super picky here. It just, uh... Leaves a little bit to be desired. Take the Polaroid. Uh, money equals power. I, I'm sorry. The, it'll be so frustrating to do that entire boss rush for money equals power. Money equals power is a great item. If I had just like a little bit more punch, I'd be all over it. But in our current situation, I don't trust myself to not take way too much damage on boss rush to get that. And it's not like the cool kind of boss rush run in my opinion. Which is like where you would, uh, you have good damage but you're kind of like a glass cannon. So you gotta stay on your toes. This would be like us having a lot of HP but taking 85 years to kill each boss. Obviously, that's a bit, you know, of an exaggeration, but you get the idea. So now we'll never pick up money again, because it makes me feel bad about the fact that we could have gotten damage out of it. We will take our keys, though. You know what? I wouldn't mind uh, coming across death on this floor, picking up a single cube of meat. Same, uh, same for a deal with the devil. Like, if we got Sack Dagger, that'd be good. Um, we're pretty much in the market for any... That was so good. Um, we're pretty much in the market for any orbital at this point. <laughs> Head of the Keeper, huh? I couldn't possibly imagine any items that that would uh, synergize well with. We might not have lived long enough to get it, though, if we'd gone to Boss Rush, man. I'm telling you. Okay. Let's do this. Single Loki chopped in half. Not a double Loki. Look closely, you'll see the morphological differences. Using mostly bombs. Because we have 71 of them. Just seems like a fairly prudent use of our resources. Did get hit once, though. So maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Cat of Nine Tails, for sure. Mom transformation doesn't mean squat to me. And, uh, ooh, two spirit hearts. Kind of a bad haul, honestly. Cat of Nine Tails is great. Um, the bad haul exclusively is about, um, the, uh, the deal with the devil there. And deals with the devil have kind of been whiffs for us for a while. Okay, Cricket's Head would be awesome. Bad gas. Ugh. Blank card. Hero font versus Algiz. I don't know. I really like Algiz, but I guess we'll take blank card hero fonts. Um, the reasoning there being that um, do we get hit twice every four rooms? Probably not, even without using Algiz. So 
I'm pretty sure from a Spirit Heart perspective, this is going to be better for us. And I guess if we wanted to, we could also walk into an enemy. Here, Okay, here's my bold play. And it might be incredibly stupid. Feel free to let me know, and I'll go back in time and change my course of action here. Um, as we're about to get a charge, or right after we get a charge, walk into an enemy. Use a Thame to try to kill as many enemies as possible. See, this room's not good for it. Maybe next room. I don't really want to do the boss rush either. Um, might as well. We're already out of War of Babylon State. Yeah, this is the room. So do that, and then try to hit as many of these guys as you can to get uh, Black Hearts. That way we lose one Spirit Heart. We're gu or, Yeah, we lose one Spirit Heart or Black Heart. We're guaranteed to pick up one more uh, net from the Hero Font, and we could get some Demon Hearts out of it and possibly like leverage our advantage even further. Like, you know, it happened accidentally there. But it, that's that's pretty much my plan. Yo, this is getting a little annoying. Yeah, you know what? This is a much easier way to take those enemies out. I don't mind. Mm, a curse room. We will go to it. A little dicey. Uh, so it pays for itself for us to go to it. Well, it doesn't pay for itself, but we we're fine. I guess is what I'm trying to say. A dinosaur story. Uh, Able, like this was really not worth it, but it could have been straight up spiders. So at least we get something. I'm trying to trying to be more positive about it. Hey, I got shingles, but uh, at least it's not uh, the Zika virus. You know, I've never actually had shingles. I mean, I've had shingles on my roof, but I don't think that's what people are referring to. Sure, I'll take Bob's brain because I don't know what's good for me. I'm not going to trade a bomb for a key, because I feel like we're unlikely to need it. Although we are getting a lot of red chest drops. That was not very smart. We got a black heart out of it anyway. Oh, I stepped on creep there. That one was totally my bad. Okay, the stars. Completely worthless. Not talking about the Dallas stars. You guys are having a good season. But um, the stars card for us is pretty horrible right now. Balls of Steel is not. Wow, dude, it's working out so well. <laughs> I can't believe... Like, a Thame has now become the crux of my, like, offensive bullshit strategy. Where, um, you just walk into enemies as... Yeah, we're at full HP. Um, you just walk into enemies all the time, and yet somehow it ends up working out well for you. Having Gimpy doesn't hurt there either. I appreciate that. Alright. Great opportunity for a deal with the devil to kind of come out of the woodwork and, uh... Save me uh, from my own idiotic strategy here, but that's really up to the game. Try to keep focused as long as possible so that you don't uh, cause some of the shots to go at differing speeds. It's the true strength of Nightlight right here. Ooh, that was bad. No deal with the devil. Okay, deal or no deal with the devil. I am just going to go up to the uh, cathedral here because I have no interest in fighting... The Hush. We fought Hush on last run, and it was uh, it was fine, honestly. Like there was, the fight went actually extremely quickly. It was over in like uh, probably like forty five seconds, which is really good for the Hush. But uh, it was also a fun run. This run is not unfun, but uh, it's not particularly fun. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Try that. Gimpy paid out. We got some damage done. I re appreciate that. I can see forever. Unlikely to really speed us up too much, but sometimes you can get that kind of like Mortal Kombat portal to the next world uh, if you get really lucky. At this point, I don't even know what I'm looking for. I'm kind of just begging for an Emperor card. Okay, we have Hookworm on this one. I mean, this hasn't been like a bad run. I'm trying to sort out why I feel like kind of negative about it. I guess it's because... We sort of got good, but we never got, like, amazingly good. Like, the best the best we got on this run was like, eh, it's okay. You know, it, again, above average is a, a really good way to describe it. But just being above average is, like, a little boring, you know? It's not, like, excitement is not the number one thing in the world. I'd rather have a boring job that's steady than, uh... uh I walked... I have Callus. Whoa, that's, like, a really good pickup there. You'd rather have a boring, steady job than like, hey, a good shot out of a cannon. One in five times, I'll break every bone in my body. But it's a living, you know? 
But uh, it's just, it's not that exciting from a, from a playing standpoint, I feel. Rotten meats. It's okay. Thinking, why don't we try to, like, skip ahead a little bit here. Cheat the system. Luck up. Dude, these luck ups are going to be really good on the next floor. Okay. I mean, we could fight Mega Fatty. Don't get me wrong. That's definitely an option. Or we could leave and fight the world's largest angel. That sounds more exciting to me. Find our second secret room, which means we're almost certainly uh, on our way here. How do you like that strategy right there? Who can top that shit? Who can top that shit? Ooh, goat head is now meaningless, but it's the thought that counts, and I mean that sincerely. Thank you for thinking of giving me the goat head. If only I'd been able to finagle it a floor or two earlier. Thank you for being a friend. Cross the road and back again. I don't remember. It's the Golden Girls theme song. Something, yeah. You're a friend and a confidant. Okay, uh, Nightlight is not going to stop these tears in their tracks. So you better be ready. Because some of them are getting in there, as you can see. Bob's brain is probably already gone. That might be what just hit me. Trying to throw in the occasional bomb. It's sort of working, but really, as much as I hate to say it, our, our damage from, like, a you know, doing a lot of it in a short span of time uh, standpoint pretty much entirely hinges on Bob's brain here, which is... Uh, not sad, because Bob's brain's a pretty good item, but it's no, uh, you know, shoot the woo, mom's knife, triple shot, proptosis, ease mascara, is all I'm trying to say. Okie dokie, well we do have 17 keys. I'd expect to be able to open up some chests on the next floor. Decent, decent, and it could be great. Ares is a speed upgrade. Spider Bite's a good slowing effect. Cancer is basically like the wafer. Oh my god, our shots look so funny now. That's probably only because of the trinket that we have here, but still, that's that's pretty good. The, the trinket effect, even, that I should say. Um, I, I feel like I, I can't wait to see if we get a bunch of chests. Because we have, like, several luck upgrades thanks to PhD. So I'm thinking chests are going to be dropping all the time. And I'm just waiting for something to take this run to the next level, you know, to make me super excited. Even happier to be here than I normally am. I have a sunny disposition most of the time. I like to think that I do, at least. Um, Nick may beg to differ. He says, shaking his head as he watches this right now. Um, but just give it like a rubber cement, man. Soy milk rubber cement, even. I'll compromise. Ooh, we did get caught there. But we got Mr. Mega. Okay, I've been using a lot of bombs. That's a start. Let's use Awaz. I don't think it could ever give us anything on this floor. Oh, but it can... We have Endless Nameless, so we can just keep cranking on it for a, a second. <laughs> Basically. Um, so Mr. Mega's not bad. Gimpy paid out there, so we took no damage. Effectively. And there's our item, which we'll go back for momentarily. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we still have Bob's brain for that. You are dead. Okay, Bob's Curse. Well, we got Faded Polaroid in that room. Um, Bob's Curse continues to make our bombs slightly better. You know what? I'll take it. You're building a theme here. A theme that I can appreciate. Bomb Synergies. It's it's a fun run. You did give me Pyro, so it fits. It's not like you, you gave me all these Bomb Synergies but no bombs. Maybe it's a little bit uh, less exciting than, than some of the other synergies we've had in our lives, but... Uh, Hey, you know, 404 is, 404 is bringing the heat. Oh, it's a rune. Burkano. <sighs> this room. This room's going to do it, man. This is our proptosis room. Oh, it's a second secret room, probably. Unless this floor loops around in an inconceivable fashion. Oh, these have to be items, right? Infestation 2 is so good! And you know what? Hell yeah, we'll D8 as well. Reroll our stats. Faster rate of fire. Much, much, much lower speed. Good god. That is kind of horrible, but also hilarious. 
Infestation 2 was real good, though. I don't know if that D8 play was, was at all worth it. We're getting a lot of spiders, though. Ooh, I'm, I'm not disliking the way this is looking. 2020, baby! We're coming in! They gave me a reason. I do believe that you are what you perceive. Is that... You get some Velvet Underground. I found a reason. It's like a white light, white heat banger. Something like that. If only we had uh, the mulligan as well, because the damage is looking real good now. Oh, we gotta check that. Oh, no, 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 Give me nine lives. I think they probably killed it already. Yeah, they did. That's my bad. Shouldn't have gone so hard on it. Ooh, I didn't mean to pick it up. I know that's gonna sound suspect, but I saw it and then I said, oh, that's good. But before my human brain could answer, my animal brain was like, yes, mom's knife. There you go, I'll make it up to you. I'll take the guillotine. Napoleon, make yourself a dang case of guillotine. Well, luckily it happened about 20 seconds before the end of the run regardless. But hey, there you go. There's that run in the books. Win 12. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.